Hello and welcome to my Operator Tips videos. In this episode, I'd like to talk a little bit more about our CPM or CAT production measurement system. We did make some modifications to make this a little bit more simple for you, the operator. Let's hop up in the cab and take a look. Let's go ahead and get ourselves comfortable. Again, we want to make sure that we put that seat belt on because as a friendly reminder with these M-Series machines, if you don't, the machine will remind you when you put it into gear. All right, so now with that, let's go ahead and jump into the secondary display and let's take a look at these features some of the changes that I was referring to with the CPM system. And again, with that CPM system on the primary display, in order to enable that feature, go ahead and press this little truck bed symbol over here on the left-hand side. Now that will pull up our primary CPM display. So as you can see, we had a target set, which was about 19 tons. Again, tons being our units. And you can see that 11 passes were made and 36 tons were loaded into the truck. I'm gonna go ahead and zero that. So now with the simplified display, a couple of things here that we can point out. One is we've added a digit, a decimal point. As you can see, it's not 18.1. It's showing you that we now have a target of 18.14, as well as the amount of material that was in the truck bed is also a 0 0.01 indication. So if I had my units as in pounds times a thousand, then essentially what that would tell me was that I had basically the 100 pounds and the 10 pound increments. So in other words, my target would be 18,140 pounds, again, if I had my units as pounds times 1,000. Now an enhancement that we made in addition to the decimal point to give you that better resolution is that we've also made the CPM primary screen a little bit more simple for the operators to use. So if we go into our settings, we can go into our payload display mode and then that gives you the option of either our normal mode or a simplified mode. So I'm going to go ahead and enable that simplified mode. And now when I go back to that primary display, you can see that the weight target as well as the tip off mode and the preliminary weigh indication or request was removed from the system. So now you have your pause, you have your ability to reset and you have your zero cal available. But other than that, all of the unnecessary information is removed from the screen so that again, it's a little bit easier and quicker for the operator to glance down and see that critical information that he needs in order to use this system. For more information on these features or others, please visit your local cat dealer. Thank you and have a good day.